We propose a patch-based approach for texture and solid models. Our method can synthesize consistent solid texture models with little memory and computation. The input to our system is a solid texture and a 3D model. In our approach, the input solid texture is alpha masked and is pasted onto the model along the local tensor field. We repeat this process until the whole model is covered with overlapped solid textures. We classify solid textures into seven types based on two aspects, anisotropy level and vibration level. Please refer to the paper for the detail of this classification. Our system supports five types and provides different user interface for each. This type corresponds to the well-known asotropic textures. In this case, the user only specifies texture scales. The user can put and move the texture patch on the surface or on the cross-section of the model, and can adjust the texture scale interactively. After the local texture scales are specified at several positions, the system fills the model with a texture while considering such user-specified texture scales. This type of texture typically represents a fibrous object. Its appearance is the same in the two directions, but different in another direction. In this case, the user specifies texture orientation by drawing strokes on the surface or on the cross-section of the model. Then the user specifies the texture scales, and finally the system fills the model with the texture. This type of texture includes a layered object. Its appearance gradually changes along the depth direction. In this case, the user specifies the depth field inside of the model by painting colors onto the model using three tools. The multi-phase field tool paints a color onto the multiple surface triangles. The single-phase field tool can modify the filling result. When the user presses the update button, the colors are assigned to the model and depth field is computed. Finally, the stroke tool is used to draw a radial axis of the model. After the depth field is constructed, the system fills the model with the texture. This type of texture includes flattened fibers. The appearance differs in all the three directions. In this case, the user first specifies the depth field. Next, the user draws strokes onto the isosurfaces of the depth field. Finally, the user specifies texture scales, and the system fills the model with the texture. This type of texture also includes a layered object, but its two side faces appear differently. The modeling process is identical to the previous type, except that texture scales are derived automatically from the depth field. After filling the model with the texture, the user can manually paste additional solid textures onto the model. The user can interactively manipulate the position, orientation, and scale of the texture. In the remainder of this video, we show some of our results. The user can interactively cut and see the interior of the solid object. Our method is particularly suitable for modeling natural objects such as fruits and vegetables. A large-scale solid object can be represented with little memory using a small number of exemplar solid textures. Our models are consistent, and we can see the cross-sectional patterns changing continuously. Our method can easily handle other texture channels such as displacement mapping. We can also perform volume rendering on translucent solid models. Thank you for watching.